okay so today we are going to discuss on how to set up clove report server in windows operating system that are without redis configuration so what is the purpose of setting up this report server is it is used to store the execution results of extant reports as it is storing multiple execution results so you can analyze the patterns of failures and passes over the time in order to set up this server what do we need we need mongodb to store the data and git is to clone your clo repository and then java eclipse is to write one test case and execute it so that the reports or results will be populated into this server mongodb has to be installed in your system or your systems in your network so you can download it from here in this link once you go here you can download this community server instead of clicking on try free go to this link and select the version select the operating system and then package will be msi click on download then install it will be pretty straight forward uh, there will be no uh, hiccups will come there and the default port it is running is like 27017 make sure that it is running on that port or if it is running in any other port note it, note that down then git is to clone right so it is uh, a simple uh, tool like you can come here and then download the windows you can install it so once you install it you can see these two git gui here git bash here okay so create any folder and then uh, open git bash here so this is what we have to do once you install this then the next step is clone the repository from here so that you will be having the source code to start your clove server go to this link and then click on this clone or download copy this url type this command git clone and then paste your url so it will clone all the versions of your clone server so mostly we will use the latest version which is 0.2.5 okay and we have couple of uh, other documents to refer for the first one is like yeah this is clone server here you can see step by step installation in instructions download the github and the default credentials are clove admin password just remember that we'll use it and then installation what we need to do is uh, that mongodb like you already have it this we don't need it because this setup does not require uh, and then you have to run this command in order to start the clove server before that once you clone this yeah the cloning is completed go to the folder you see clove server i this the latest version 0.2.5 here you can see this jar file this is what we required and along with that there are two properties file which we need to provide some inputs here open any one of the property file let's say application dot properties here the application name will be clove if you want you can change it and then server dot host this is like where you are uh, installing so this is local host right so in the same system it will run it on this host and then the server port is like 80 is the default port if anything is running on 80 you have to change this port maybe i'll give 85 something like i'm giving a different port that's it and then this is a mango db details mongo db details like uh, if your mongo db is running on any other server you have to give that server name mine is running on local host and then 27017 is the default port the port is different you have to give it here the database is clo you have to remember this configurations uh, you don't need to create manually it automatically creates if the database is not available so don't worry about it so just give clo that 
and we don't need these because we do not using this okay so i'm deleted that but we need to add one more line here which is available in this url okay in this url in this section using flow without redis uh, redis so you have to add this line so i'll just copy paste it here so this is one property that you have to update if you are not using redis and then admin and key this is username and password and then file storage like uh, all the files will be stored and mail configuration i'm skipping it i'm not doing that so if you can you can do this mail host and port username password ssn enable okay so all this configuration maybe i'll give a separate video on how to configure this okay. then you have updated all the properties required so you can go to this folder open a command prompt run java ipen jar clove server dot jar so now it should be running it on the port that we have referred so it which is 85 i hope you will not see any issues here uh, because it is uh, once mongodb is installed properly everything should work fine you should have java in order to run this uh, command okay now this is a pun running it seems yeah it's running we have to wait till uh, you see the port number tomcat started on port 85 with context path null so empty so that means the application is started successfully you can verify that by using localhost colon 85 now this application is started and you can log in with clove admin password okay so this is up and running but it does not have any uh, projects or builds right i'll keep like this i'll go to next steps what are the next steps that we have is uh, go to uh, latest version i have updated applic uh, application dot properties I have uh, started Clove Server, logged in with Clove Admin and password, and then now we have to launch Eclipse, and then uh, in any Maven project, add report extend reports dependencies, then create a class, write a code to uh, launch these configurations, and then run it once. Okay, so uh, for this I have an Eclipse. i have a project let's say activated a uh, another project which is already there then in your form.xml the first thing that you should have is extent reports so this is extent reports dependency you can get that extent reports dependency from mvn repository.com i hope you already aware of these points this would be the latest version so com.avent stack so don't use re relevant codes you have to use avent stack so you have 4.0.9 that's working perfectly fine okay so you take this and copy there this is first step and then go to uh, any package or create any package create a class i have used this example i am doing this to publish my uh, at least one run to see that in the extent reports public void 
test one. I'm using test engine, so I'll just write upgrade test. Then I have given you a mempool code, right? Please paste this. Oh. So Control Shift O will automatically download the things. You can just remove if you need. Okay. What it is doing is like it uh, creates an object of Clove Reporter. This is the important information you need to send. What is your project name? Sample project, and then from the build number, which can be changed for every execution. Build one. And then any MongoDB connection. So where you are, you want to keep MongoDB like local host and then the port number. Where is your uh, server connection? HTTP local host and the currently the port that it is running on is 85. And then extend reports object you need to create. Extend uh, reports extend equals to new extend reports. Extend dot attach report. Uh, Attached reporter will have multiple options. Generally, uh, we used to give uh, here uh, extent reporter, which is the uh, extent HTML reporter, extent email reporter, clo reporter. These are the three reporters we have. Uh, HTML reporter is free version. Email reporter is a paid version. And then clo reporter is a free version. So if you give HTML reporter, it will generate HTML reports. If you give Clo reporter, it will send this information into the Clo server. So this is what I'm using now. So what is this report? Extend Clo reporter, that value I'm giving here. So extend test equals to one test I have created, first test on description. And then I've provided one information. And then another one is, let's say, Extend dot pass. Make sure that my test case is getting passed. Success. And then when you do extend flush, it it will flush all the data into the reports. Okay. Now I want to run this. Right click, run as test ng test. So it is successful. That means test case has been executed. We'll see that this project is created in the extent reports. And the, with this build, you have one test case gets passed. So go to the reporter and then refresh it once. You have this dashboard of sample project. OK. and Total bills executed is one. Right. Test cases has executed one. And then this is the pass. So this is the execution results. Here you see dashboard. And then you can see number of bills here. All the bills details will be saved one by one here. And then here, like manage projects, you can see multiple projects. If you have, now I have only one. I'll run one more case with build two and I'll fail it. See that how it reflected there. Okay, it's executed and so you have two builds in the sample project. Go to dashboard. And then you can see uh, one, this total step, step share, test are two. Previous case is first one. And then this is the second one. And this is like uh, added here. All this information will be continued to uh, 
populate here. Okay. So this is one way of adding the uh, details. There is another way. So instead of giving this information here, you can configure that in a properties file. Let's say I have created one properties, properties with uh, a project name and then build name, MongoDB host, MongoDB port, clove.host, this is where our uh, host is running. And then this is where the port of the uh, clove report server. And then MongoDB URI, this is mandatory. Okay, so you have to give this. Now, in order to load this clove properties, what we need to do is, in our test case, I'll uh, run but clove dot we have this code right template load initialization params so you can use that and then this that is where like you can keep the path of the Parameter. Where is this? I kept this in the flow dot properties. Instead of giving uh, absolute path, I I'll prefer to give relative path. So the relative path will be dot, and then that path. So this is checked exception. So you have to put it in try catch. Now, so without that configurations here in your code that is externalized to properties file. We'll see whether it works or not. It got passed and we'll check that whether the data came here or not. I have given a different project, if you observe, uh, manage projects. See, I have given here open card. Project name is open card. So the same project came and then here switch project you have to choose open card the dashboard has been opened the details like parser file has been updated here okay yeah this is how you configure uh, your clove server let me know if you have any questions.